Governments have been grappling with digital transformation over several years now. What's going to be different over the next five years? Well, thank you, Alex, for that question. I think, I hope there will be a lot of difference. I mean, I think as many of us are aware over the last couple of years, the pandemic, the global economic uncertainty, and really evolving citizen expectations have heightened the pressure on senior civil servants to change the way they do things. Uh, we've seen governments across the EMEA region roll out ambitious recovery plans. And uh, these recovery plans are going to be transitioned on, uh, are going to be focused on innovation, on resilience, on inclusion, and quite crucially on the transitions to digital and environmentally sustainable economies. And with these recovery plans rolling out, uh, the need to adapt, to scale, and really to rethink public healthcare, public welfare, tax, as well as economic development have led to the creation of complex new back office operations, processes, and services. And as civil servants look to implement these measures effectively, they're realizing the need to enhance operational efficiencies across procurement, across resource and budget planning, and across uh, delivering services to both citizens and business users. And what they're also realizing now is that the existing or the legacy systems often lack the capabilities or the flexibility to cater to these new demands of new processes and services. Therefore, I think over the next five years, uh, digital transformation of back office operations will be a key priority for uh, governments across all levels within the EMEA region. Uh, in fact, uh, in a survey conducted by IDC in uh, November 2021, we found that as many as 88% of senior civil servants thought that uh, digital transformation of back office operations will be either a high or a medium priority over the next couple of years. And it's not surprising, you know, because uh, th this digital transformation of back office offers a number of benefits. Uh, Government departments can obviously seamlessly share data across and within departments. Uh, they can finally convert the massive swathes of data they have and convert that into rich, intelligent insights to drive decision making and just vastly improve the experience for citizens, for government staff and business users as well.